Hmm. So, the face model for Spider-Man 2's Mary Jane. She was the face, was she the face model in the first one? Anyway, she says she's getting harassed online. Let's check out what's going on. She's an attractive young lady, so I assume <clears throat> it's the Creepers. Let's check this out. Almost every attractive woman online has Creepers, I'll tell you that. The worst part of the internet may have just turned Mary Jane's appearance in the Insomniac's Spider-Man 2 into a subject of debate. Even since before launch, but now things have even escalated to a disturbing degree. Stephanie Tyler, the face model for Mary Jane Watson in the game, posted a statement in which she describes getting voicemails from fans at her job requesting to speak with her, which made her feel unsafe and uncomfortable. Here's her full statement. Voicemails? Why are you calling a woman at her job? Never, ever call people at their job, especially when you don't know them. Good Lord. Let me see what it says here. Mm -hmm. All right. Dear Spider-Man fans, I appreciate the love for my role in the Spider-Man games and the positive response to my version of MJ of MJ has gotten over the years. However, I am no longer an actively auditioning actor or model. Okay, so she's done right now. The shoots I do now are purely a creative outlet for myself and a way to collaborate with friends I love. Over the weekend, some followers cross boundaries. One even went to the extent of calling my workplace and leaving multiple voicemails wanting to speak with me and requesting I call back, which is unacceptable and considered stalking. Yeah, you guys can't be doing that. What are you, what are you doing? Huh? That is not kosher. It's not okay. It is not in any way socially acceptable. You are violating her private personal space doing something like that, okay? Ah, oh, boy. My skincare page is not for Spider-Man or Mary Jane fans. Bottom line is that I came into work this morning and immediately felt unsafe and uncomfortable hearing those voicemails. Please respect that I am a human being trying to make a living just like you. And I kindly ask for boundaries to not be crossed. Messages will not be answered. I will block you if you make me feel uncomfortable. And you can unfollow me if this disappoints you. Thank you. She didn't say anything wrong. She did not say anything wrong. I don't know what the issue is. Uh, I don't know if they're obsessed fanboys of her. Or fangirls of hers. I don't know what's going on, but... <sighs> it isn't just that, of course. There are endless debates about her looks on social media and hostile comments on her page. Well, I didn't know she was getting hostile comments uh, about her looks. I mean, a lot of good-looking women get harassed by, you know, people that either want to look like them or they're mad that they don't look like them. Truly the worst part of internet fandom creeping out of the shadows to do this. Tyler says she is not an actress or model anymore and has moved on from that part of her life. Again, she was just the face model insomnia I used for Mary Jane's digital likeness. The character is actually played by a veteran voice actress, Laura Bailey, who has voiced characters in Final Fantasy World, World, um, World of Warcraft, Halo, Uncharted, and Gears of War. And another controversial character in the form of the last Last of Us is part two's at oh she wait oh 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 okay Laura Bailey voice Abby okay it's unclear if she's been harassed for her MJ portrayal specifically but certainly uh, 
has been in the past for any other number of roles. The Stephanie Tyler harassment is even more disturbing as it involves tracking her down in real life and attempting to make contact with her. Needless to say, that this crosses uh, way too many lines to count and is another gross example of what internet fandom can become. And while the voicemails may be the final straw for her, I've been watching impossibly stupid and misogynistic conversations play out online about this version of Mary Jane for months now. In the reality, she looks fine and her role is even improved in this story. Oh, so now that sounds like two separate things. Um, there were fans that were like, wait a minute, this doesn't look like the face model. And the, the pictures that they showed, it was like, wow, okay, that really doesn't look like the face model. And when they put it side by side with the one writer, it definitely looked more like the writer. So I don't know if they were harassing her about that, but that's definitely wrong. Uh, the problem is that the kinds of people who would go to lengths to her like this to harass someone will no doubt ignore, please stop. And this will keep happening across the industry in various forms, especially to women at a uh, much much higher rate than male actors. I don't know about if it's a, a much higher rate than male actors at all, because uh, <laughs> uh, I've been at this for a while, and I know plenty of other actors and YouTubers and Twitchers and kickers and out there, and a lot of people get harassed, so I, I don't know what that is. Uh, actions like this make entire communities look bad, even if it's just a small fraction but those communities need to expel those bad actors in every way possible. Sadly, that rarely happens or rarely can even happen due to the nature of what social media has become. Well, look, if you want to be a good functioning uh, human being in society, don't harass people, okay? Don't harass people. Don't harass them just because their faith that the, the character in the game doesn't look like... Like, she doesn't make that... that um, call she doesn't say scan me okay now make mary jane look like this she doesn't do that she plays her part for the role they scan her maybe you know have her do whatever uh mocap they need to do and then that's it so when they changed the face you know that's between insomniac and you know whatever you know, y'all talk to Insomniac about changing her face. Don't bother her about them, Insomniac, changing her face. You know what I mean? Um, you know, those those pictures definitely was like, wow, that does not look like the face model. So it is what it is. You know, I, you know, just leave the girl in peace. Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think about this. If you enjoy my thoughts on this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share.